It's awkward. It's Tuesday. It's Brooke and Jubal's Awkward Tuesday phone call. The guy on the phone that's about to make an Awkward Tuesday phone call today has some big cojones. Oh. And I, I don't say that just because I've seen them. And I, and I have, and they are very large, okay? But I say that because for him to make the call that he wants to make today, you have to have some big ones. Oh. Lou, how are you doing? Hey, I love you guys. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Yeah, we know you obviously love Jubal. Apparently, you guys have been very close. <laughs> well, not that close. <laughs> uh, thank you for your email. Thank you for agreeing to do the Awkward Tuesday phone call today. Why don't you tell everybody what your issue is? Well... I've been working at my job as a cook for about two years now, Mm -hmm. and they've just six months ago changed managers to this evil, just micromanaging, ridiculous. She screams at the stat at us. It's just ridiculous. Is she the typical restaurant manager? I worked in restaurants a lot, and restaurant (laughs) managers are always the worst. Always. (laughs) She is the worst manager I've ever met. She doesn't know what she's doing, but she's constantly micromanaging on top of you. Like practically standing over your shoulder. Oh, is she? I, hate that. I mean, she's new there. She's just really trying to assert her authority. And... I, I don't know what it is she, she's trying to do, but all she's doing is pissing everybody off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what does she yell at you about? She yells at me at everything. Every there's not a thing. I can't even walk into the place without getting screamed at. Yeah. Whoa. I had a lot of managers like that working at restaurants. Mm-hmm. I I, th- I don't know what it is about that job in particular. I think it's because they feel like they should have more power than they do or something. Yeah, and but get they, paid more. Yeah. I had my half of my face go paralyzed once because I had Bell's palsy and I told my manager when I was working at a restaurant, she still made me finish up my side work before I went to the emergency room. <laughs> oh my god. I will say to her defense, I mean, with a work history like yours, I wouldn't probably believe you either. <laughs> Actually yeah. Yeah. My face was actually paralyzed. Yeah, that's what she's like. She's like this short, 90 pounds, just screaming like fire. Practically, it comes out of her face every time she opens it. <laughs> Has she ever been nice to you at all? No, never. Oh. Just the other day, I was peeling potatoes, and she comes up behind me screaming at me that I'm peeling them wrong. And then she grabs one of the potatoes and throws it at me. Shut (laughs) up. She threw a potato at you? Oh, my God. Yeah, she hit me in the head. (laughs) What? That's hard. That's dangerous. I feel like you could sue somebody for that. Don't think I haven't thought about it. (laughs) I was afraid if there were any knives around, she was going to do something worse. Oh, my God. And she doesn't get in any trouble from any, like, higher up about this no, it seems like the the owners of the place love her. I, I don't know. So you you hate going into work right now. That's obviously an issue. But is there like a bigger issue that's going on? I want to quit. I want to quit on the show. What? Shut up. Yeah. He what? Wa- he really? wants in your awkward Tuesday phone call. Your email said that you would be willing to call her and quit on the air with us. <laughs> Absolutely. I, I so badly want to do this. Oh so let me ask God. you a question, oh, and, and that's great. This is like living out everybody's <laughs> fantasy right yeah. now. I am excited for this. Oh. Normally when people do an Awkward Tuesday phone call, they're very unsure and they're like, oh, I don't know how to make the phone call. I don't know if I should make the phone call. Are you excited about this opportunity? I, I'm, I'm shaking in my boots right now, but I really want to do this. Oh. Has it, is it one of those things where you have literally for the last six months been rehearsing in your head what you want to say to this woman the day that you leave? From five minutes after I've met her, yes. Oh, this is awesome. So do you have something You have something prepared, or are you just going to kind of wing it once you get her on the phone and just... I don't know what to say exactly. I don't know. That's why I'm calling you guys. I'm hoping you can help me out. I want to make it good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that's what you want with your Awkward Tuesday phone call. You want our advice on how you should do it to make it the best... Oh, my God. ...quitting of a job ever. <laughs> Yes, please. So oh. awesome. Okay, uh, just <laughs> to play devil's advocate here, do you really think this is a good thing for your career? Like, are you going to be burning bridges? Oh, yeah, like on a resume. Yeah. Just... Well, I've already found another job. I don't care. Oh, All right, whoa. so you're good then. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. All right. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so you just need our advice on some really, I guess, powerful things that you can say to her? <laughs> yeah, I mean, how do I do it so, so I want her to feel it? Oh, this is amazing. You, you want to make this woman cry is what you want to do. I want her to change. I want to be a better person because I quit. So you want okay, so you want to quit and to so the point where she goes, maybe I should change my managerial she skills. She quits. Yes, please. Okay. Oh dude. We're already getting texts in. Okay, well we'll play a song, come back, give you our advice. Oh my god. And then you can quit your job, all right? Great, thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. Hang on. 
It's awkward. It's Tuesday. It's Brooke and Jubal's Awkward Tuesday phone call. Lou is on the phone with us, and Lou is about to live out everybody's dream with today's <laughs> Awkward Tuesday phone call. Seriously. He wants to quit his job on the air. Apparently, yes. He's been working at a restaurant for about two years. Last couple months, he got a new manager who is just horrible. Yeah. He even told us a story about how she threw a potato at his head. <laughs> So his problem is he's trying to figure out the best way possible to quit with flair so that she feels it. <laughs> and that's why he wants to do an awkward Tuesday phone call today. Lou, are you ready? I'm ready. Uh, are you sure you're ready? Because a lot of people, when they're about to quit a job, they're like, oh, I'm going to march into their office mm-hmm. and I'm going to tell them off. Yeah. And then when it comes to game time, they go, um, so I just want to tell you I really enjoyed working here, yeah. but <laughs> I'm going to be tendering my resignation today. I hope that's okay. Weeks. Yeah. We don't want you to do that. I'm ready. I, I already have another job. I'm not worried. I, I have to tell this woman. She's going down. Are you okay. sure about that? <laughs> yeah. All right, let's make sure. Oh. Lou, <laughs> I want to talk to you for a second about somebody who has made your life a living hell for the last six months, Lou. Her name is Katie, and we're about to dial her phone number. And when she picks up, I want you to do what you came here to do, Lou. <laughs> I'm ready. Are you ready? Get pumped. Lou, when she answers the phone, I want you to think about the disrespect that you felt. She has disrespected you in your own house, Lou. <laughs> think back to the potato as it whirled at your head. Think back to the insults that she's flown at you from across the room. And you fight back today, Lou. You get her on the phone and you tell her exactly what you think of her. You go in there, you hit her hard, you hit her quick, and you make her feel it, Lou. Hell yeah. Today is the day, Lou, that you stand up and you say, Katie, you have ruined my life and I'm not going to take it anymore. My name is Lou and I quit. Yeah. Let's do this. There we go. Did I yeah. help pump you up, Lou? <laughs> Jose's ready to quit his job. <laughs> yeah. Let's do this. I so want to. Oh. All right. Oh. Okay, so you're hyped up. You're ready to go? Ready, ready. Let's Let, do it. Let's Lou, do this. You don't sound like a mean person. Do you have what you were going to say in mind already? I, I'm, I'm going to wing it. I'm just going to wing it. Let's just hang around. Okay. Let's go. Oh. All right, man. I'm going to dial the phone number right now, okay? Okay. I'm so excited. Hello. Hello, Katie? Yeah? Yeah, it's Lou. Lou who? Lou from the restaurant. Lou? Why are you calling me? I, um... I have something I, I need to say to you. Okay. What do you want? Ever since I've met you, the last six months I've been my boss have been hell. I cannot stand working for you. I can't do anything right. I come in early, it's not good enough. I come in late, it's not good enough. All you do is yell and scream and criticize and go after anything that I try to do. I can't cook anything correctly. I work really hard for you, and you don't care. And all you do is criticize. You throw a potato at me. You're the worst person I've ever met. I can't take it anymore are you finished no i'm not finished because you're evil and you make everyone around you feel like crap you've been my manager for the last six months but guess what you're not going to be my manager anymore because i quit go yourself i quit now are you finished yeah Now I'm finished. Well, Lou, I'm really sorry to hear all this, and um, sad to see you go. Oh, bullshit. No, you probably don't believe me, but I think you're an outstanding cook, and I guess I understand your... You know what? Don't... What do you... Is this is this Katie? I mean, you are not Lou. I'm sorry that you thought I was a jerk, but please I'm not the only me. one. Everybody in the restaurant hates you. You're evil. I push people who I believe in. Yeah, I was a little hard on you, but that's because I really believe in your talent. 
Of course you believe in my talent, because I'm good at what I do. Well, you could be really great, Lou. I, I do think that you're really talented, and it's, it's too bad that you're leaving us now, because I was going to sit down with you next week and talk to you about a raise and giving you some more duties in the kitchen. But um, I don't I don't think it's a really good fit now that you've expressed your true feelings. So I wish you well. I wish you the best. Did you say a, a raise? How much of a raise? Well, it doesn't matter now. You clearly have expressed your feelings about me and the workplace. Um. Um. Awkward. <laughs> oh my gosh. It is awkward. Yeah. What is that? Hi, Katie. How are you? This is Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the Morning. What? Yeah, how you doing? <laughs> I'm okay. What's going on? Oh, this is an awkward Tuesday phone call. It's a segment we do on our show where if you want to confront somebody on the air with us, you call them and then try to hash things out. <laughs> and then we come on the phone and talk to you about it at the end. Yeah. And Lou wanted to call you to quit today. <laughs> Seriously? Mm-hmm. Mm. But you don't sound like the evil person that he told us you were at all. You sound <laughs> actually very nice. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't. I'm still I'm having trouble understanding. Well, Lou emailed us and said that you were a horrible boss and that you were mean to him. <laughs> and he wanted to quit, but he wanted to do it with some style. So he asked if he could do it on the show today. That's ridiculous. <laughs> it is. Lou, is this for real? <laughs> yes. Seriously? You threw a potato at my head. <laughs> I thought you were one of the more sane people that worked in the restaurant. This is just weird. <laughs> You're the craziest person there. <laughs> Katie, are, are you a really a potato-throwing maniac? Because you don't sound like it one bit. Lou, did you lie to us? No, I did not lie. Do not lie, Katie. You know you threw a potato at me. <laughs> yeah, I, I remember throwing the potato at you, but it's because I am hard on the people that I really believe in. What? It was in the heat of the moment, and that's how it works in the kitchen. If I see Lou peeling the potatoes wrong, I'm going to go over and tell him. That's my job. It's not right. <laughs> and I know he can do better. It's so hard talking to you, imagining you getting angry at yeah. all. <laughs> like, you've been so calm through this whole process. Very pleasant. It's because I'm not at work. I'm a pretty calm person when I'm not at work. <laughs> you're calm because you're used to people quitting. <laughs> Lou, are you over-exaggerating the abuse that you've been getting the last six months and maybe you're a little sensitive? No, the only thing that's sensitive is the spot where the potato hit me on the head. <laughs> I mean, that's extreme. I, get it, but... I, don't, I don't understand. This is, not, this is not the Katie that I know, that I've known for the last six months. See, this, is, this is not the same person. Lou, you and I could probably be friends outside the restaurant, but it seems you, like you want Katie, nothing to do with like me. Katie, this is like Jekyll and Hyde. You're like, you're like a completely, I've, I've never heard you be this calm. I'm just doing Not even job. when you say hello. <laughs> <laughs> you, d you did start the conversation out with what do you want? <laughs> Wait, do you want me to like go in the kitchen with you so, and to talk about this so I can yell at you? Were you really going to give him a raise, Katie? Yeah, I'm not kidding. Wow. wow. Does, I mean, does this make you kind of rethink your managerial style at all? Because obviously you and Lou are having like the best conversation you ever had. <laughs> and there's no physical violence right now. It's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I've never really had a problem. If people aren't strong enough to work with me, then, then they should quit. It's not a good fit. It obviously worked out for Lou because he got a better job. <laughs> you see that? Katie helped you find a better job because she is an excellent manager. Right, Katie? <laughs> exactly. How do you feel about how do you feel about all the stuff that oh, Lou said to you before he quit? Well, it doesn't bother me because I'm not a <laughs> like Lou. <laughs> there you get to see a little bit. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, there it is. It's in there. there all right. Well, hey, at least Lou got it off his chest. And Lou, um, is there anything else you want to say to Katie before we let her go? You know, I'm happy where I'm going, and that's it. You know, hope I never see you again. <laughs> I stand by my word. I wish you the best. And I think you're really talented. <laughs> that's even worse. Yeah, oh, is. that's such a terrible feeling. You finally get to tell off your boss and she ends up being cool. Oh, man. <laughs>
she's lying. <laughs> Broken Jubal in the morning.